Hi there, let's see who could make it. Congratulations to those who could draw it. I'm so proud of you that you could draw this practice, which was kind of complicated. And uh, some may say it wasn't complicated. <laughs> All right, thanks for that. And there is no problem for those who couldn't draw it. You don't need to worry about it. Uh, you can m watch this video and review all the practices that we have worked on before. And then you can continue the course powerfully. We are just at the beginning of the course. And we haven't finished more than two sessions yet. And there is still much time to master and learn it very well. Uh, Alright, we need to have some points to rotate each one of them. Search point here. Click on it. We said that the final radius is supposed to be manageable. So our end point, which is our biggest radius. Uh, all right. Uh, let me show you this better. This point, which is the farthest one from the middle, will be the upper radius of this helix. So I say it starts from 0 to R, uh, which is our radius with parametric number which is hashtag n okay and i'm gonna give it to this one uh, okay let's add integer slider here all right and let's copy from it paste it here let's rename it to radius okay if someone tried it before they will understand it better than those who said I couldn't do it, I couldn't handle it. And they got rid of it. And then gave it up. As you can see, these are some codes that you should have figured them out before. Okay, I'm gonna give the radius to R and give it to number. Well, it is the radius and this is the number. I'm gonna rotate each one of them little by little. But meanwhile, I'm rotating them. I should make them high as well. So in order to do that, I should give it height too. Uh, all right, so focus on what I'm saying now. It's really important that we are giving it height so let's copy from it and rename it to height yes as we know we have the total height so it starts from the lowest one which is zero to the h which is the highest one and its number is so clear as many as we gave to x we should give to z as well as many as we made points, then give the number to x. So we should give the same number to z. Hashtag n. Uh, we give n to number, h to height. It is started from 0 to 15. Alright, let me make it more 24, okay? So if I give it to this one, uh, yes, it would be like this. We can make the height and number more, as you can see. Yes. Uh, all right. Uh, the radius and number, as you can see, we can change it. And the uh, height. If it's bothering you, you can pause this video now and then draw what we did so far. Make some points like this. But we just want to rotate them. We made these points right here. Yes. Now they're gonna be rotated. That's it. It's a simple job. What should we do now? We should just rotate them. <sighs> okay. Uh, here, right click, rotate. Axis origin degrees. Click on it. What is it supposed to be rotated? These points. So connect this to this one. What's its center? It's zero, zero. That we need to make it, okay? Point, zero, zero, connect this to this one. And the axis is on Z, all right. Uh, put it here, connect this to axis. Let me ask it again. 
How many points did I give it? How many geometry does it have? 31. From where? From here. So how many degrees? 31. Okay, that's finished. From how many degrees to how many degrees are we supposed to rotate them? Which I mean the number of the rounds. If you rotate it to 360 degrees, it will become one round. If you rotate it to 720, it will become two rounds. So here I say it starts from zero to not a big number like 720 or more. I'll say n times 360, which means round. Am I right? Okay. One number of 360 means one round. Two number of 360 means two rounds. Let's change it to A since I want to use N here. And its number equals to the number of points, which is uh, hashtag N here. I'm gonna connect this to N, all right. Let me remind you that this hashtag N makes equal the numbers which we are making for degrees to the number of points. That it should be like this. All right, uh, the number of rounds. Let me copy from it. Here, I'm gonna give three to it and rename it to uh, the number of rounds uh, oops sorry okay number of rounds and then I wanna okay I wanna give it to a uh, all right uh, are you ready for that I'm gonna give it to this okay you got it uh, please analyze it very well as you can see, the first one has not rotated, the next one 20 degrees, the next one 30 degrees, and the next one 40, 50, and etc. It's going up, and as you can see, each point has rotated. To make it more attractive, let's get to the changes. First of all, I'm gonna increase the number so that uh, you can see the connection among them, see? The more you increase the number, the more points are made, the more number of angles are made. And then it will continue like this. Um, well, I'm gonna change the number of points here to a bigger number. All right, let's take a look at it. Control B. It's good. Control B again. You're able to turn off the preview of this series of these points okay and after that i'm gonna increase the height and number of the rounds that we have three number of 360 degrees and to make it look better you should increase the number as well and the final radius as you can see uh, where does it come from exactly if you consider it flat this starts from the center to the end point all right let me show you here that it starts from zero to the last one which is r but it was on the ground so it didn't rotate it's really important to watch this practice many times no need to do it you know many times just watch this so that you can get and learn and understand the concepts very well and then you can use them simply in the next practices later now giving the circles only left which is so simple for us and then when you uh, give it to this one our practice is finished now so if it was necessary you need to watch this many times so that you can learn and master it very well good luck